boxes, volumes, and statements that we're holding here in our own ceremonies and respecting the protocols of our, our coastal relatives here. Uh, it's very important. But also something happened. It's actually history in BC. History on how one of our women ended up in the parliament. She ended up being elected amongst our people to represent us in the parliament. And it was a hard decision, but she resigned. And you heard why. But Melanie in her heart knows why. And it's something we all fight for in this province, is our respect, our recognition as Indigenous people, but also when we're voted in the highest office like this, they should respect our women. They should respect the voice. They shouldn't have to say that it's regarding uh, personal issues. It's regarding the fact that our people were here first and our people are the voices of the land and voices of our people. And we need that exemplified in the highest offices that there are up there, even though it's a colonial structure. So we wanted to, to give our heartfelt <sighs> gratitude to you, Melanie, and our love. You're still standing. Your powerful voice, you always will be. I know you did well for your constituents in the downtown east side, but your voice rang throughout that whole parliamentary. You shook it up. They have to be accountable. They all do for all their actions, but you're still standing and you're still going to be that voice for us. We know that in our hearts. So we have a smudging we wanted to do. And then we're going to, uh, the, they're going to do a song. We have some beautiful people here, but certainly if any of the women want to come up here and join, please come up. Your energy is needed here. Your energy is welcomed. And you are our leaders as well, all the women that are here. Many, many women I see fought for many, many things and many issues, decades and decades of work that our women have done. So we want to honor you in this strong circle, Melanie. And then we'll have some words for you later. I'm hoping you'll be able to speak to us. So let's join a circle of love and protection and support for Melanie for all the work she's done. And I'm going to turn you in smudge now. And then uh, uh, maybe you can explain this much. Good afternoon. Um, Sego, Neowan. My name is Wendell. I'm really grateful to be here on Musqueam territory my daughter's land. What's being done right now is being brushed off, smudged with traditional medicines that were collected in the Merritt area. My brother as well doing this work for me as I prepare to brush her off with the cedar boughs. It's an honor to be here today to see this work going forward in a good way. And I raise my hands to the nation, to the people, to the chiefs, to our elders, to our matriarchs, and to my brothers as well.
teachings uh, in the Coast Salish territory and in BC as I was shown um, this is a way to take off that heaviness and to lift up who we are honoring as well um, and I'm a young knowledge keeper still learning so forgive me if I make mistakes as as, as I love doing this work personally um, and thank you for giving me this opportunity uh, on behalf of Indian Residential School Survivor Society oh, so. Thank you so much for the prayers and standing in the circle and all the ones in the room. This is so important. We'll just turn the mic over to Melanie and hopefully Grand Chief and our executive uh, can speak some words after. Simgigat, Sigatamanak, Gibbet Wiltzik. It is my honor to be with all of you today on such a beautiful day. Tuxiasm, Andrea, for inviting me. It's been a pretty heavy 24 hours. 
And um, before I begin, uh, my Niska name is Lahaikwiskak, eagle that passes on to the next generation. And um, the grandmother, Thelma Mark is my grandmother from Lakaldzap. My grandfather, Willie Mark, is from um, Gitamax, but he was adopted by the Mark family in Kitsugukla. My dad's from the Red River. He's passed away, but he was Cree, Ojibwe, French, and Scottish. And um, the first thing that's coming to mind right now, I, my tears are from my grandparents, and my strength is from my grandparents, and my middle name's Joy, and all I ever really wanted in my life was to have love and peace and harmony, and I was told this is a love blanket, um, and I appreciate the healing strong words because my life is basically, I don't remember one year of my life without trauma. And I'm really tough. Grand Chief Stuart Phillip knows this. I'm really tough because I can take a really good shit kicking. I'm the type of person that the harder you kick me, I smile at your face and tell you, is that all you got? And the strength in my heart is for our people for our justice, for our women, for our girls. I want my daughters to have the best life, the life that I never got. I want to acknowledge everyone that paddled with me from day one. The first time you met me and heard I wanted to be a politician, thank you for having my back. It's been the joy of my life to be an MLA, to be an advocate. I believe that's our job is to open our big mouths and fight. Fight for people's rights. And I stepped away because I've been fighting my whole life. And I just want to just slow down. My recent diagnosis of ADHD, I just found out two weeks ago. It's pretty hard when you find out that there's something wrong with your brain, because my whole life I've been treated like there's something wrong with me. Slow down! Listen! Why don't you listen? Work harder! Slow down! I've learned that my brain is actually really brilliant, and there's just so much in there that it just gets caught up and doesn't know where to stop. So I'm trying to calm down my brain and my house, and um, there's way too much to say. I just want to really acknowledge John Horgan for putting me in cabinet, because that table is shaped like a canoe, and I always said we've got to paddle together, and he gave me that chance. I want to thank everyone who took their chance on me and believed in me, and that's going to still believe in me because I'm going to still fight. I'm going to fight harder. But I just want to leave things in a good way, because I'm really proud of all of the things that my eagle feathers touch in this province for kids in care, for education. I just wanted to leave a positive mark. So, thank you, Tuxiasm. Melanie, I just want to thank you for your strength and your courage. And to share with you in, in our health subculture, the cedar brushing helps to brush away any negative energies that may be going towards you. And it helps to brush it off you so you don't carry that around. And when we blanket people in, in Bella Bella as we have you before, 
It's to blanket you with strength and to protect you. And so you can take that blanket when you're feeling that your spirit is, needs that strength and you wrap it around you and it's wrapped with the love and the courage of everybody that's crossed your path and has supported you. And I also want to thank you for always telling it how it is and you know, with the tears, you know, our tears are strength and our tears are courage. And it's healthy to, to let them out. And that's something that you've taught a lot of people. And I want to thank you for all of your integrity and your work and for allowing us to stand with you and support you. Thank you. CM the Solquen, CM the CA, Hai Tep, Ka Quetzi Tep, Me, Te Chilnamit, Tinequail. My dear elders, family who are here, I thank you for this beautiful work that has been done here today. And in our, I was sharing with the chiefs yesterday, Melanie, that you're one of our own and that we have to take care of each other and we have to take care of you. And it's with the, you've inspired many many women, many First Nations, many uh, firsts. And we're always gonna remember you and be grateful that you're the person who went through those doors and uh, fearlessly and gave it your everything. We watched, Melanie, and we, we made note of the changes that you've made as minister and as your time as MLA. And sometimes we think people aren't watching, but we're watching, Melanie, and you've inspired many. And I, I want to especially thank you for your vulnerability. Sometimes in life when it's difficult, you know, we, we try and give that firm chin and say everything's fine. But today you taught many that there are times when life can get difficult and you take care of yourself and you choose you before anything else. And that's what you've done here. You've chosen yourself. You've chosen your wellness. You've chosen your mental health and a better vision forward. And I promise you days, weeks, years from now, you and your family will be the beneficiaries of this decision that you made because you'll spend that time with the people that you treasure most. And I wanna, uh, the, the blanket, here in Coast Salish territory, it's like the creator wrapping his arms around you, like a grandmother who will put her hand on your back, and he's always with you. And this is to, a blanket is to warm your spirit in those times where, you know, you, you may feel cold or your spirit may feel cold or it's not with you. It's to call back your spirit and warm it, and it's the creator with you. And what a privilege it is to, to stand on the cedar boughs and to be blanketed and what an honor, and you deserve that honor. And I just wanna thank you for your dedication, your years of service and in inspiring many who you don't even know and who you haven't even met. And we thank you for that. Oh. So good to see you. <laughs> you dance off. I'm kidding. I love you so much. You come on. <laughs> I just want to say, Melanie, I'm so happy you're here. Um, you are definitely part of our family. I remember that afternoon you came into my office so many years ago, and you were thinking about running. And we spent a couple hours talking about what that might or might not involve. And I recall there were tears and so on and so forth. It was a big decision. I also remember the day you were drummed into the legislature and there was such great joy across the land. And we're all so proud of you. Um, full regalia, drums, singing, the celebration that was happening, bringing 
you know, your presence and what you represent in terms of being an Indigenous woman into the BC Legislature, which we all know is the bastion of colonialism. Everywhere you look in that building, there is one of those harsh faces of leaders from days gone by that were gleefully implementing the repressive laws of colonialism and taking away our lands and our way of life. And you had to go to that environment every single day and deal with those traditions and those attitudes. And we want to thank you for standing up for all of us and for fighting the good fight there day after day after day. I know that the legislature has a very dark side. Um, you may or may not know the Premier was here today. And uh, Melissa uh, called him out on what happened in the legislature. And um, I was the last speaker, so I told him what happened there was disgraceful, uh, disgusting, and I absolutely believe in my heart of hearts it demands a response. You're one of our most beloved role models, and you were abused and treated the way you were, and we all need to respond as leaders, as women's groups, as organizations. Uh, what you may describe as a diplomatic sanction. And I told the Premier straight out, it's got to stop. The bullyism and the racist innuendo and uh, misogynistic behavior that goes on in the legislature has got to stop. And we can help that by writing letters and, and doing those kinds of things and not let this go by as, oh well, um, I know we haven't seen the last of you. Um, your, your light just shines too bright, and it gets you in trouble. <laughs> but you were put here with purpose. We talked about that on the first time we met, and you'll continue to live your purpose throughout your life and you'll continue to advocate and fight for what's right. And I'm so proud that we were there to help you in a small way along your difficult path. We're still there. We're still here. And um, you're always welcome at our campfire. And when we get hurt, we go where we're loved and you're here because of that. So I was so happy when I saw you outside the door there. So I wanna thank people that, that brought you here and gave us this very special moment. And I just wanna end by stating the obvious, uh, we love you. So we'll always love you, we'll always support you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Wow, <laughs> it's very emotional, Melanie. It's, it's a beautiful to witness this. I just want to share with leadership a little bit about this blanket. Yesterday, I was asked by Chief Jen Thomas to teach uh, self-defense to the women's group at Tsleil-Waututh Nation. And I just, I'm a Muay Thai instructor, the first indigenous female Muay Thai instructor for Canada and the US for the, for the government of Thailand. And I just learned um, Melanie is actually a fellow Muay Thai sister. <laughs> so it was, and they gifted me this blanket and we did a lot of talk on defending our women and our girls, using our voice and speaking up for ourselves. And to hear what you did yesterday, you stood up for yourself. And you led by example, and you live by what, we, by what you teach and your words. And I just want to applaud you for that. I want to acknowledge Chief Angela and Counselor Annie for helping us blanket you. Uh, Elder Jewel 
for blessing us and giving us the okay and making sure we're doing things in, the, in a good way here um, to honor you. And uh, I just want to give a moment. Um, we have a youth representative. It's her second day <laughs> for UBCIC. And I want to give her a moment to speak. And I also want to ask Katisha Paul if you can lead us in a woman's warrior song as well. And the pates at Piapo at a quick sauce. Katisha Paul, Tinith Nat Kotat Lip Stantley and Lummy Silks, Neil Natanley Lonnie Riley, Neil Nimen Yahwe Lipton, Heitzap got Mashkwe, Heitzap got Hamashkwe, and Heitzap got Hamuch, Miss Nimuch, Nitu Tamuch, the Hum, Eich Noikel, Eich Qualo, and Natsama, Miss Nimuch. My names are Tepiapo at Little Angel and Katisha Paul. Melanie, I am honored to be speaking in front of you and to everybody in this room. Your energy is really feeding her, and I can feel it. To be able to lift a strong woman up like this in a time of turmoil and disgusting actions is amazing. The way that we're gathered here today, it reminds me of a story of the seven sisters in what is now called Stanley Park. And there, um, what had happened was one of the sisters had passed away and the rest of those six sisters were in mourning. They were crying and crying and crying and they wouldn't stop crying. So Chayot, a creator, came down. He turned them into trees and they're all standing around in a circle in Stanley Park. And one of those trees that fell down during a really big storm here in Vancouver so what the nations did is that they grabbed that tree and they restored it and they made a canoe and they journey in it now. That's what I feel like is happening right now. One of our cedar trees has fallen, but that's not the end of the story like was just previously stated. This is only a step, only one stroke. There's going to be so many more and there's so many more pulling with us. When I seen your name, it first started in social media, and then I started reading about the politics, and it amazed me. I want to follow with you. I want to walk alongside you with so many other women that are here. I'm honored to be standing where I am today, because I myself have gone through too much, even as a young person. And it's so, so horrifying how we have to be survivors every day. Surviving, waking up and figuring out what else is going to come at me. Give it to me. I promise you I'll fight back and I'll win every single time. We have to have that mentality. And that's what you're showing. And I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody who is here standing with us today. Haidzapka. Thank you all.
Uh, you're welcome to come up and give Melanie a great big hug because I think she needs it. Thank you, Judy. As you're giving Melanie hugs, I'll ask her elder Jewel to come forward to bless the table. Elder Jewel? Would you mind blessing the table, please? Our blanket fold. Mm -hmm. oh. she here? She's with you. Yep. I feel like kind of an anti climax. <laughs> the portable mic, please. Okay. Thank you, Elder. So let's dish up as quickly as we can, and we'll try to get some more business done this afternoon. Gentle reminder, as you're walking about, please wear your masks. For those of you online, again, please stay connected. We'll be coming back. I'll aim for 20 minutes, but it'll be between 20 and 30 minutes from now, which will put us about 1 o'clock, 1.10. Thanks for your patience, everyone.